Hey guys, welcome back to Chilling Outdoors. My name is Todd, and today I will be taking a look at my SE Knife Survival Kit. I'll show you what it looks like back in a second. Okay guys, here it is. This is my SE5 survival kit. Some people may call it a one tool option. I just call it a survival kit. Lightweight, packed full of features, and something that I can actually just grab and go if I want to take a quick hike, throw it in my car and I'm out the door. So I put this together. Uh, a couple weeks ago and I actually haven't taken it out and used it but I plan to do that this weekend now it is really hot and I'm probably only gonna go on a short scout like maybe three miles but this is all I need so let's break it down now this is the SE5 carbon steel, nice custom handles, very heavy, very durable, can do everything from feathers to light chopping, patoning, you name it, it can get it done. Very durable and reliable knife. Now this is the SE, should I say jump sheath. So basically it was, the SE knife was made for the military helicopter pilots. So if they had to jump out of the helicopter, they could strap this to their leg and not lose it. The knife wouldn't come out perfect, I think for bushcraft. As you can see, I have a water straw, the Hydro Blue Sidekick, because you're always going to need water. Now, since I'll be putting in some miles, I'll have a button compass. This is a very reliable button compass by Sunto. Um, that stays right there. Now, inside, This is actually 15 feet of number 36 braided bank line. I say braided because there's two kinds. There's braided and there's twisted. Sw twisted, can, you can untangle it and uh, use the three strands to come with it separately, maybe like for fishing line and stuff like that. Personally, I like the braided because I like it to st stay together and uh, it's a little bit more sturdy that way. Um, also have a whistle, just in case I need it for rescue. This is a through night TI-3, AAA battery, 130 lumens, small, but very bright when you need it. When you're out in the dark, you only need about 100 lumens. That's 130, so I'm good to go there. Uh, last thing in the pouch, I believe, is... I'm getting everything out for you today. Come on. This is the SOL heat sheet. Stuffed in there pretty good. Five by seven reflective heat sheet, the best on the market. And I usually, as you know, have one in most of my kits. So that's it for the pouch. As you can see, that was a lot to go in there, but it fit everything. But I'm not done. On the back here, there is two feet 
of Gorilla Tape. I use that, as you know, to help me um, put up my shelter when I decide to use it. I usually put it up in the plow point configuration. I use the Gorilla Tape for tie outs. And last but not least, in this little package, I'm actually going to take everything out. So it's a good idea, I think, to always carry fire with you. So these are two uh, fire plugs. They each burn for about three minutes a piece. So I have some tinder. I also have a ferro rod, a very good, small, thin, but very good ferro rod from firesteel.com. They make the best. This is a Wazoo Survival Gear ceramic blade. Ceramic, this little blade cuts very well. It can cut the cordage, it can cut through fish, it can cut through pretty much everything. For its size, it's a good piece of kit. I use it a lot for cleaning fish, but, but also it can strike the ferro rod. Let's give it a shot. See? Nice. And you know, I have the water straw, so it would be silly for me not to have a container to carry it in. And in here, have some water tablets, four water tablets. So it's four liters of water that I can purify, but also this is There it is, a one liter water bag. So I can collect water, purify it, and or drink it, drink the water through the straw. If I don't feel like waiting 30 minutes to clean the water, I can always drink it with the straw. Now, believe it or not, to put this kit together, uh, I purchased a knife from, uh, the knife connection. And I actually bought everything a la carte, which is a lot cheaper actually. Um, so this entire kit, including the knife, cost me about 275 bucks for everything. Not bad. But I will be doing a review when I take this out on a hike next week. So you can actually see it in action. But this is just another kit that I put together. I thought you might find it interesting and maybe you want to put one together for yourself. My SE5 survival kit. Until next time, get outdoors. Peace.